Right, hi everyone. I'm Maeve and we're going to have a little look at sprint problem 21 today. So, as you can see, in the figure below, angle DMC is a right angle. Given that MB is 4 and MC is 5, what is the area of rectangle ABCD? Let's start by putting some labels on this diagram. MB is 4 and MC is 5. Okay, how do we find the area of a rectangle? We need to know the height and the width. The height looks easier. We could find BC. There's two ways to do this. So MBC is a right triangle, because this is a rectangle, right? So angle B is a right angle. So um, we can use the Pythagorean theorem on this. MC squared is equal to MB squared plus BC squared. So BC squared is... 5 squared minus 4 squared. Oh, we've got to do some math now. 25 minus 16, which is 9. So BC is 3. These would be familiar numbers. We've had 3, 4, 5 right triangles before. Lots of right triangles are 3, 4, 5. So if you're familiar with that, you can also just know that BC is 3. Now we need to know the width of the rectangle. We could find either AB or DC. DC looks easier because it's just one part instead of two parts. And we can do this with similar triangles. So we've got a lot of triangles in here, but in particular, we want to look at MBC and DMC. These are similar. How can we tell? They're both right triangles. They've both got a right angle. One of them's got a right angle at B. One of them's got a right angle at M, which we know because it says in the problem that DMC is a right angle. And then... MCD is the same as angle CMB, which is because we've got parallel lines, AB and DC, right? Rectangles have parallel sides with a line CM across them. So similar triangles. Similar triangles means we have ratios. And in particular, DC is a side of one of these similar triangles. And we know all about triangle MBC. So this is looking really good. In particular, let's do some ratios. The ratio of the hypotenuse to the longer leg of the triangle. So DC is the hypotenuse of DMC, and MC is the longer leg. And then MC is the hypotenuse of MBC, and MB is the longer leg. So the ratios of DC to MC is the same as the ratio of MC to MB. All right, um, let's look at the, the sides. We know MC, which is five. We know MB, which is four. So the only thing in this equation we don't know is DC. That's what we wanted, so this is fantastic. Put in some numbers. DC divided by five is five divided by four, multiply through by five, and DC is 25 fourths. Okay. So now we know DC and we know BC. So we know the height of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle. So we just multiply those. 3 times 25 fourths is 75 fourths. OK, now that we've solved this, let's look at the answer choices to see if any of them match up with the answer we've just gotten, which they hopefully will. Here they are. And there it is. Answer C. Hi, everybody. This is Tim. Hope you're enjoying our videos. If so, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that sort of thing. But what I'd really want to invite you to do is to send us an email at media at mathleague.org. Tell us which problems you'd like to see us cover next in our video series. Take care and see you in the next video.